I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. This is a follow-up video from the first video that I did here on my channel with the Ruger Vaquero. And I wanted to share with you today how I'm doing um, an update here. And I've shot close to 500 rounds through this Ruger Vaquero now. And it still functions the same way as it did in the first video. Um, but, you know, the problems are still there. Um, and it has a lot to do with the cylinder and the tolerances that it has. But in the first video, you heard this grinding noise that I have at the cylinder. So it's different when it's pointed up than when it's pointed down. Let's try it pointed down now. See how much smoother it is? And then when you point it up, it's a grinding noise. So Ruger didn't really get the tolerances correct when they, when they built these firearms. Now, I don't have anything against Ruger. I have quite a few Rugers at home and they perform well. In fact, my uh, 1975 Super Blackhawk um, that you see in the first video that I did with the Ruger Vaquero problems, um, you'll see how that performs uh, beautifully when I rotate the cylinder with that, with that gun. But with this gun, you know, there's definitely some problems. But, uh, you know, as far as that goes, you know, the hammer has been pulling back okay, because the first one that I took back I couldn't even sometimes pull a hammer back on the gun. But this one seems to be okay and I got close to 500 rounds in it. If you go to buy one of these at a gun store, make sure you take the plastic insert out. Um, you'll see it, you'll see the edge of it between the cylinder and and the frame back here, all right? So have, have the salesman take that out because the mistake I made when I bought this Vaquero was I didn't have the salesman take the insert out. And then I would have noticed the grinding and I probably wouldn't have bought the gun. But anyway, with this insert in, it was smooth, you know, in, in any direction that I would point the gun and, and, and spin it, you know. It was very, it was very smooth. So it wasn't until I got home and, and took the plastic insert out and cleaned the gun, and then I noticed I had some issues. But if you wanna hear the full story, I'll leave a link um, at the end of this video of the first video I did with the Vaquero, and you can hear the complete story. But I'm not gonna go over it again in this, this video. So today, I thought I would uh, go through again and shoot, you know, like a, you know, a few rounds with you and um, see how accurate we can be with it. Uh, now, some of you wrote in the comments section on the first video that um, that you had some ways to modify um, the sights on these. Um, now, I'm just gonna leave this gun original uh, the way it is. I'm not gonna modify, modify the sights, but the main thing you wanna do is you wanna know where your gun is shooting. And then the second thing that I suggest doing is trying different ammo. And today we have different ammo with us that we're going to try. And I'll show you in the first video that I did, we shot the Remington <clears throat> HTP. Okay, and these are the jacketed hollow points. Uh, we shot a box of 20 of those. Now today I brought some of these with me. And these are a target load. Um, Heritors uh, target load, 45 Colt, 250 grain. Okay, and lead flat nose. And these are 230 grain jacketed hollow points. Okay, 950 feet per second. Let me see if we can find the feet per second on this one. And I will put it on here so anyway we're gonna try this new target load and like I said this is uh, 230 grain and this is 250 grain okay we're gonna see if it makes a difference 
when we load the gun and, and also firing the gun, see if it's any more accurate. Let's, let's, let's try to load this thing and, and see if it loads well. All right, so let's go ahead and start. Now let's see if the cylinder turns and it's all the way in there. Okay, so it's a little bit tight, but it wasn't as bad as the Remington. Okay, now I've got two in there, so let's try another. Now it's turning really nice. So when you get two in the cylinder, it turns better. But that very first one, it hangs up a little bit. But these, uh, this ammo that I'm using here is not near as difficult on the first one as the Remington was. So, so far, so good. Now see, it, it still doesn't rotate. You know, it, well, those are probably are falling for it. But even if I turn it this way, turn it like this, it still, it still hangs up a little bit and it shouldn't do that. All right, so it's ready to fire. So let's shoot a few, a few here. And uh, we'll use the bag so we can learn where our gun is firing at, okay? Okay, it's about, I would say the target's about 20, 20 feet away. It's shooting low and slightly to the right, but not too bad. Okay, that was right next to that other one there. So I got the sights right in the middle of the bullseye. Or let's try, let's try that bottom target now. Target's about 20 feet away. Shot low. That was better. Okay, so I thought I would shoot the Vaquero at 25 yards and see how we do here. And let's shoot it off the bag. We didn't do too bad. I like this new ammunition a lot better than the than the Remington that I was using. So well, let's try. Let's shoot some at the 25 yard line here. Well, these load a lot better than the Remington, so they just, they still hang up though, just a little bit. See right there, it hang up. All right. We'll shoot at that uh, bottom target first. Now I'm placing the sights right on top of the bullseye on the bottom target.
All right, let's go to the top target. Is it? Okay, I think I did better at the bottom target than I did the top one. But if you buy one, uh, you know, uh, just make sure the, the cylinder rotates okay and take out the plastic insert and um, check it out thoroughly before you buy it. Uh, so far, this has had around 500 rounds shot through it. And, but I'll see you in the next video. And uh, make sure you leave me a comment and share the video with your friends. Thanks again for watching.